Hi Church, hope you're doing well. Just wanted to introduce myself. My name's Julie Wilson and I look after our wonderful volunteers and team in our Chester campus. And it's my privilege and honour to be sharing devotions with you today as we look into the Advent period and specifically um, the journey of the Christmas story. Um, today I want to be looking at how sometimes journeys can be uncomfortable and inconvenient but how when God has a plan and a purpose and he's spoken into our lives that we can carry on in these journeys. We're going to be looking at Luke chapter 2 verse 4 and it says, So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea and to Bethlehem. And it's talking about how Mary and Joseph have been decreed to go and um, fill, it, fill out their census in the town that Joseph was born, which was Bethlehem. Um, and this town was a long way away from where they lived. It was probably 80 miles away um, and it would take them a couple of days to travel that journey. And bear in mind here that Mary's heavily pregnant as well. Um, so this journey would have been super inconvenient for one and also really uncomfortable. It would have been a long, uncomfortable journey and they probably weren't looking forward to it, but um, they had to go. They'd been told that they had to go. And I'm thinking that perhaps on this journey to Bethlehem, they had a lot of time to talk. They were probably, you know, reflecting over the last couple of months of all the miraculous things that had happened in their lives. You know, the visit of an angel, the prophecies and the miraculous pregnancy and carrying all of these you know, these memories and also with Mary carrying the unborn son of God on their way to Bethlehem, they must have felt great hope for the future, but also, I'm assuming, some uncertainty and fear as well. And sometimes um, we have those situations in our lives, don't we? You know, something that's, some journeys are not what we want to do, they're, they're forced upon us. We have to make uncomfortable and inconvenient journeys in our life because of someone else's decisions or actions like in this case, the decree from Caesar. And our journeys may be painful and we might find ourselves broken hearted or deeply discouraged along the way. We may think that the inconvenience and distraction of the journey is just too much. But God promises to sustain us even though we walk through these dark valleys. If God's words and direction and purpose is the reason for the journey, then we can really rest assured and have faith that God will sustain us and we can keep going. Um, and I'm wondering, have you ever faced a journey like this? Have you ever been on a journey that you didn't want to take? You know, maybe through illness or a moving house or a, a loss of a job or, you know, maybe you've had death and grief in your life that's just sent you down a journey that you didn't really want to take or... You know, perhaps it was a journey from mental ill health to mental good health. And, you know, stuff happens in our lives, doesn't it? And um, I'm not suggesting that God causes these things or it's his will, but they're just simply part of life. And we find ourselves on these roads. But God goes on us on these journeys. And God's plan and provision has a way of bringing just beautiful and good things out of these situations you know, from the pain and the heartache and the disappointments, we can, we can raise our faith and our, and our hope and our, our trust in God. And um, we must really keep on going and, and not be robbed of this delightful inheritance that God has for us and, and that God promises us. And um, I just think, like, let's not dig up in doubt along these journeys, what we buried in faith. Let's stand on the word of God and let's stand on God's purpose in our life so that we can live in all that God has for us. And, you know, I think that's what Mary and Joseph discovered on their journey. Um, and I don't know what journeys you've been on that you didn't want to take or the journey that you may be on now. But what I do know is that God walks with us and he walks with you. I know that God will strengthen you because that's what he promises in his word that he will do. And I know that God redeems life's painful journeys and replaces them with fruit, with purpose and with hope for the future. And my prayer today is that we can really live in that inheritance today and that we can recognise that even though we walk through these painful journeys, that there's always hope and there's always God's provision along these journeys. So yeah, thank you for listening today. I hope that's 
spoken to you and uh, look forward to meeting some of you really, really soon. Take care.